Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. And what you see in front of you are the two electric trikes that I did a video yesterday of, kind of comparing them. And today I'm going to take a little bit more time and uh, just go over them individually. And I'll, ha I'll handhold the camera so I can go up close and show you some things. But anyway, the one on the left is a fat, tri fat tire trike from electrictrikes.com. The one on the right is a Bolton. It's a new Bolton electric trike. Uh, if you go to, if you buy either one of these, I'll give you a discount code for the uh, fat tire trike from electrictrike.com. Use Rusty50, you get 50 bucks off, but you cannot use that in, in addition or with any other discount. <clears throat> On the Bolton, you use the discount code TRIKEMAN50 and uh, you get 50 bucks off. But anyway, having said that, now we'll look at them a little closer. Now you're, see you're seeing them from the rear, so you get a little look right there. The one on the left is bigger, obviously. Uh, it's these are 20-inch tires. Both of them have 20-inch tires on the back, uh, but uh, they're the tires on the left are bigger. I can tell you that. And they both have a tail light. This tail light over here works on batteries. This one over here works off the main battery, which is not. Neither one of them have the battery on the bike. I've got them both inside my RV. Anyway, this one has a rear carrier and so forth. But the things that you need to know or think about first how are you planning on using your electric trike you know if you're just going to be riding around uh campgrounds or you're just going to be uh driving down streets sidewalks and so forth then you know you don't don't need you know these big heavy duty off-road tires i mean they do help i mean there's no doubt i mean i ride, ride it on streets around here all the time and it's certainly not a big issue but again uh, you can see you can see the difference in the size of the product, and you know there's probably there's another one they make at um, electrictrike.com. That's a smaller one. It folds. This one on the this one doesn't fold. This one folds, and the handlebar folds folds down. And so now looking at them from the front, you get another uh, view of what uh, what they look like and the difference in size. Uh, they're they're both um, as far as comfort when you're riding them. Uh, actually, this one has a more comfortable seat, the Bolton. Uh, th this one over here, the seat's a little rough or a little harder. But again, it's probably designed more for people going off-roading. And this one's just, you know, for people on the, you know, going down the street, going down to get some groceries or something, you know, pretty quick stuff. Let me get on the other side here and I'll show you the Bolton from the side. And you can, again, you'll see the difference in the size. Now, the reason I say that you need to know what you're going to use the trike for is because they come with different size motors. Most of the trikes have the motors in the front. There are some that have the motors in the center. These two have the motors in the front. This one has a 500 watt motor. That's the Bolton. And this over here, this is the electrictrike.com fat tire. And it has a 750 to 1000 watt motor so which one has more power this one does they both have the same size battery 48 volt 12 amp so you know again it depends on what you're going to use it for uh, if you think you're going to be off-roading or following some trails around the parks and stuff that are pretty rugged and you're going to be going up hills and over rocks and so forth you know th this product right here would do all of that it's it's very powerful it, it is it's very powerful and again you've got you've got throttle uh power control you've got five levels on each one what does that do you can use the battery only only and not pedal at all you do not have to pedal either one of these trikes ever if you don't want to if you do choose to pedal them then they have what is called pedal assist so if you have either bike on power level one, then you're going to get a little bit of assistance. If you move it on up two, three, four, five, you get more and more and more assistance. And then they also are both seven speeds with a Shimano shifter on the handlebars. And, uh, you know, you just do it like a 10 speed bike and that's how that works. Now, now let me see here uh, it, again. You got to know what you think, what you're going to use the trike for. You know, uh, there's no one design fits all needs. Could you go off road on this one right here? Yeah, you could, but I don't think that's what it's designed for. I think this is more of a maybe a commuter type thing, short distances uh, around the neighborhood to the post office, to the grocery store, or the corner grocery store, whatever. 
and maybe hauling a few things around on the farm and the baskets and so forth. Uh, this one over here, you can do the same thing. Uh, no doubt about that. Uh, you're just going to have a lot more power to go up hills and, and that sort of thing. So if you, and it also depends on how much you weigh, because the maximum carrying capacity on this one I think is 275. It's about the same on this one over here, the Bolton. And so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a powerful bike. But it, th this one, the Bolton, uh, excuse me, the the fat tire trike from Electric Trikes. This one right here, th it has shock absorbers in the front and the little shock absorber on the seat. I mentioned this yesterday and I'm, and I'm duplicating some of this stuff, but I wanted to just give you another closer look uh, so that you could see exactly what you're getting. They're all, or all the ones I've had, are front wheel uh, drive, and they all have a Bafang, B-A-F-A-N-G motor, like this one right here is a Bafang, if you can see that. And apparently that's a quality motor that is used on most trikes. Let me see if this one's the same. If I can turn it, oh, I got the wheel, I got it on park. And I can't do it with one hand, when you, oh, I got it. Uh, this one doesn't have a name on it. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? Uh, I don't know if it is, whatever. Anyway, it's 500 watts on this bike, and the other one is 750. It's going to roll off. Let me get up here and set the brake again. It's hard to do this with one hand. Okay, so I got it. So having done that, now... As far as uh, the, the uh, racks or storage deals, uh, the Bolton has front and rear, you know. Uh, this one has front, you can get a front rack for it. But it, again, one lady asked about, you know, she had a bad knee, you know, which one would be the best for her? I can't answer that question. And some other people asked like, you know, which trike is best for me? I'm certain age and I do this and I do that. Well, you know, guys, I really can't say, uh, but I will say this. If you're going to be a, a light user in, on, on level, smooth roads and so forth, the Bolton will work for you. If you're going to be on smooth roads also and uh, off-road too, then you might, if you're going to be doing both, or you think you might do both, then you're going to need to get the fat tire trike from electrictrikes.com. The good news is they're both the same price, 2000 bucks. Now, they are running some specials now. It's kind of the, you know, the Black Friday stuff near Thanksgiving and so forth. But, so, you know, you probably might be able to get a little deal. I, I mentioned the discount codes in the beginning. Uh, this one has a nice, uh, large readout right here. This is your monitor that will show your speed, your miles per hour, so forth. And this is how you increase and decrease the power level. This is how you turn the screen on. This is a little bell. This is the shifter for the chain. And this is the rear brake, front brake. Brakes work better on this one than they do on the Bolton, I'll say that. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, this one, again, folds in half. Right here, you just lift this little lever up. I talked about that yesterday. I don't mean to repeat myself. That's a pump I added myself. That's a mirror I added myself. And this one has a screen that's about half the size of the uh, electrictrike.com fat tire trike. And so you've got a bigger monitor. It's, it's a, a different deal. It just depends. You know, th this one obviously would be easier to store, you know, if you're RVing and so forth. This one right here. This, one's, uh, this one doesn't fold. It doesn't do anything. So you're going to have to have a good spot. This one's six foot six inches long. This one's six foot four inches long, I think, uh, close to it. So, but again, the reason I'm doing this video today is to show you, just let you get a good look at them because I know that in most places, like where I am here in Texas, you can't go look at them. You know what I mean? You can't get up close, you know what I mean? You can't see them, you know? And seeing them is one thing. Uh, both of them have ad more than adequate power to haul one human being around, uh, around up to you know, around 200, 225 pounds in that range. Uh, as far as, you know, if, if, but 275 uh, is the total weight capacity of this one. I think the other one's pretty close to the same because that one's got a 500 watt motor. This one's got a 750, so it does have, this one has a little more power. But it's, uh, again, it's a, it's a fun thing to do. It's kind of like, you know, it's you, you're open air. It's riding around in a convertible, more or less. It's, a, you know, like today's a beautiful day here in Central Texas. It's supposed to be 85, believe it or not. This is the 24th of November. And uh, so... But so take a good look at them, guys, because you more than likely there's no unless you live in Croydon, uh, Pennsylvania or 
near Las Vegas County in California, I think that's the name of the county, uh, then you're not going to see these anywhere because they're not, they don't use dealers. You know, you got to go through them over the internet to get them uh, shipped to you. And shipping's not cheap. Shipping, shipping can be up to 250 bucks. And both of them come pretty well assembled. This one came with the front tire off. And unfortunately, there was no air in the tires. That's not a big problem. But getting the tire on did take a few seconds. This one came completely assembled. I mean, it, you just roll it out of the box. Uh, get, they send an Allen wrench. You just uh, turn the handlebars up, and you're ready to go. It had air in the tires, the whole thing. It's ready. In fact, I'll show you the box it came in, then I'll end the video. But let me get you, let you look, get a good close look. Now, again, this is the Bolton. This comes from California. I got my shadow, but I can't help it. Uh, that comes from California, 2000 bucks. You know, seven speed chain drive, you know, for pedaling. You don't have to pedal at all uh, if you don't choose to. It's got a throttle up on the top. It's got the pedal assist, everything. And uh, you know, it's got 20 inch tires all the way around. And it's a good trike. I mean, I, I do like it. And it's, it's uh, light enough I can lift it up and put it in back in my truck because the handlebars up there fold down. Uh, this one over here doesn't, and I can't get it in the back of my truck. We're working on that now, though. And so there's your good frontal view, and then we'll go around here and let you look at this one, take a look at it. I'll stay here long enough so you can maybe pause your screen if there's something you're interested in. The batteries, both of them go right behind the seat, right back in here. They're both 48 volt, 12 amp batteries, and takes about... Oh, if, from, if the battery was pretty well drained, it'd probably take you about four or five hours to charge the battery. It comes with a charger. Uh, what else? This, is, this thing's got a little bag in the back that's waterproof. Pretty nice. I've got some stuff in there right now. But anyway, I'll let you look at this one one more time. Yeah, because if I would have been able to see a video like this, I'd have had a little more knowledge about what I needed to order and probably could have saved myself a lot of time and effort. But here, let me show you the seats, okay? this Let me get up here in the sun. Here's the seat on this one right here, okay? And it's not, it's pretty soft here. This is, this is a pretty soft overall bike seat, okay? And this, this, the seat does adjust up and down. The handlebars adjust up and down on, on this one. Same way here. Uh, th this, this one right here, the handlebars kind of lift this way and this way. The seat's adjustable up and down. And uh, th this seat is, it feels soft here, but when you sit down on it, it's a little narrow right in here. You know, you, so you know what I mean. But you can replace that. I've got a, another seat coming today. But we'll see what happens. And then there's, they also make a cover, a seat cover that's like a memory foam stuff. So, but anyway, guys, I'll get around here in the front now and let you look at my end of the video. But I just thought that if I gave you some close-ups of different things, that you would know what you're getting into. You see what I mean? Because when you look on the internet, you see a picture of something and you're not real sure what it is, you know? The brakes are good. You know, they both have the same type brakes, the caliper stuff, and uh, they work okay. This one right here doesn't seem to be as good as the uh, fat trike from electrictrike.com, but you know, it depends. You know, I'm not riding down mountains out here or up mountains either but anyway guys you know take a last look i'm gonna shut her down here but that's the two electric trikes i, I did have a third one it's just smaller it came from electric uh, trike .com. uh it's 1500 bucks and it's it's would be perfect for somebody that just wants to go down the street and drive you can actually drive that in the grocery store because it's got a narrow rear footprint and you can actually get it through a doorway to go in a grocery store you can check it out on electric trike Dot com. But having said that, guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye from Central Texas, USA. That's my Casita RV in the background. It's under cover. This is my home base in Central Texas. I also have a home base in New Mexico at um, Capitan, New Mexico. Go there in the summers when it's too hot to breathe here. And that's what I tow it with, my Ram pickup with a camper top. No, this is a great spot. Uh, you don't hear any noise, do you? But anyway, Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link if you think about it. Uh, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, take deep breaths, breathe in deeply and hold it for a few seconds and breathe out slowly. That relieves stress. And what else? Exercise your body once or twice a day. And, and that's another thing I'll mention right quick. 
You can get as much or as little exercise as you want on either one of these. You don't have to pedal at all, or you can pedal the whole time, or you can pedal a little bit. You know what I mean? So you got all the options for exercise. And what else? Stand guard the door of your mind. Keep negative Ned, negative Nancy out of your head. And enjoy your life. Again, guys, one day at a time. I'm 74. You know, if there's anything I need to do, I want to do, I better be doing it now, 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 now. So anyway, guys, enjoy your day. Adios. Bye-bye.